Somebody go see what they're doing in the bathroom. Folks, I want to tell you a joke I heard recently. As many, as many of you know, hey, shut the fuck up, Jesus Christ, am I here? Is anything happening? There's a man lifting up his kilt. I want to apologize for, for this joke. It's not my joke. I'm a bartender, and, and I hear jokes, and I think it's a funny joke. This, this girl walks in on her grandmother showering. Jesus Christ, holy shit, I'm, I'm jumping out the window. <laughs> it doesn't matter, at this point I really don't give a shit. This, so this, uh, this little girl walks in on her grandmother showering and she goes, what the fuck is that thing? She's like, that's my kitty. Oh, okay, she says, you have one too, it just doesn't have any hair on it. But this is my kitty. My kitty is Harry. Thanks, Grandma. This was a great shower together. And then uh, a couple days later, so excited she knows what a kitty is, she sees her mom going into the shower. She fo follows her mom in there, and she says, Mom, you got a kitty. <laughs> she says, where did you hear that? She goes, from Grandma. I was... I saw Grandma in the shower, she showed me her kitty, and it was really hairy. She goes, well, this is my kitty and you have a kitty. She goes, yeah, but Grandma's kitty was dead. <laughs> she said, what What the fuck are you talking about, you bitch? No, that's not what she said. She said, what the fuck are you talking about? And the little girl said, well, I know it was dead because its tongue was hanging out. Anyone? Anyone? Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's my comedy. That's my comedy. Good night. Good night. It's been a great pressure. It's been a great pressure. Now look, here's the deal. I know times are tough. I know all of you might have heard a little something-something about all the fucking insanity going on in the world. The reason I'm retiring this show in December, after 40 fucking years, is because against my wishes, this has become a safe space. <laughs> better than the world? Oh God, have you seen what's going on out there? Fuck me! You see what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> I started this show as the Tom Miller Show and then the Reverend Angel Dust joined me by my request. He was doing shows before I ever got here. And we said, look, marijuana on Mars. Let's just get that done and then everything's going to be fine. We had no idea how the world was going to unfold. We had no idea that people would be excited about killing somebody. We had no idea that, that uh, shit would get uh, so unhinged that this would be the most normal thing you could do in Gainesville. You know what's abnormal? Go. Mike Go get a room at that fucking hotel at the Hippodrome and see what happens. You'll, you'll get shot! Woo! In the ear. Now if that made you uncomfortable, that's the world out there. Here it's great. Everything's fine here. That's why we're not, here. Not one person has taken uh, a shot at me. And I'm so disappointed. <laughs> what value do I have? Thank you. <laughs> Listen. Go vote. Or don't. Go home. Go to bed. Pet your fucking cat. This shit is so this shit is so unhinged now. 
let, let's, let's, let's go over what's happening in the world. Science is garbage. World is flat. Everything is a conspiracy. A deep, deep, not just a conspiracy, a deep, deep conspiracy. How deep is it? So deep, Tom Hanks, the pedophile, is eating roasted babies with the Bilderberg group. I know that's true. I've been watching Alex Jones. And I believe him. I mean, he doesn't have a studio anymore. He's out like in the forest now. But, but I still believe him. I believe him. Everything he says, he's a very passionate guy. You know what I mean? I was praying to God, which I often do, as you know. Praying to God. And I was praying, please don't let the rhetoric and the violence and the politics get into the tabernacle. Let the tabernacle be, you know, the heaven that we've all known it to be. A diverse group of people coming together in the spirit of America, gay, straight, people who have sex with animals, uh, normal people. Wait, I fucked that up. I'm sorry, I don't know what I was talking about. But anyway, I'm just kidding. All colors, all races, all creeds, all religions. If you don't, if you don't have a religion, we'll give one to you. Jama, the great dumpster goddess. He'll tell you all about it. You can be agnostic. You can be scientific. You can think the, the moon is flat. You're all welcome here. Everything is cool here. Don't you understand? And that makes this show the most boring place on planet Earth in the entire, yes. all of it. Yeah. We're boring now. Yeah. That's why we have to bring this show to an end. Oh. We've done our work. Well, we just Everything at this point, oh, it's going to be nukes. We're all dead. So, and after you die, the Reverend Angel Dust and I have agreed what's taking over the world besides the roaches Zika virus. Woo! We encourage Zika virus for everybody. If anybody has had a friend or a family member die of Zika virus, you're okay with us. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, right. I just want to say one other thing. Everywhere I go, I got to deal with Trump, I got to deal with Biden, got to deal with the as, as the Reverend Angel does says, I've got to deal with the Demoblicans and the Republicrats. I would rather this show be just about art. I would rather everybody in here drink too much uh, to drink tonight. If you have drugs, you know where the bathroom is, just don't get caught. Or go out in the parking lot, as long as you're good. Avoid fentanyl. It, it won't help. Ask uh, Michael Jackson. I'm telling you, this show tonight could be the greatest show we've ever done had I not opened it. <laughs> but now, we must continue and do the show. This is not a normal open mic that we do here. This is a big fucking deal. Dogs come to this fucking show. You understand? <laughs> it's a big fucking deal. We're interspecies. There are space mammals watching this show as we speak. You have no idea what you're dealing with. The alien motherhood almost destroyed the earth. If it wasn't for the Reverend Angel Dust and I and our security team, we wouldn't even be here right now. This would be an entire room full of lizards. Ma'am, there's no talking over the show. Ma'am, no talking over the show. you are witnessing. Ladies and gentlemen, Tapeworm has just entered the building. Give him a round of applause. Please welcome to the stage to begin our show, the one, the only, 
Jason Petrone. Yeah. 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 Thank you for being here. Let's get drunk. It's Monday. Fuck your week up. Let's go. Jason, thank you for being here. about 15 and 20 and uh, they have a milk cow and every day they go out and they milk the cow and what they don't keep to make for, for their own food they take and they sell and that's how they make a living uh, they live very poorly and well so one day uh, the father wakes up goes out to the barn and sees the milk cow's dead he doesn't know what to do so he goes down to the river throws himself in and kills himself a little bit later mom wakes up Goes out to the barn, sees the milk cow's dead, doesn't know what to do, so she goes down to the river, sees her husband's dead, throws herself and kills herself. A little bit later, the oldest boy wakes up, goes out to the barn, sees the milk cow's dead, walks down to the river, sees his mother and father dead, and there's a female leprechaun standing there. She says to the boy, You having a bad day, are you? He says, I, I suppose so. She says, I tell you what, if you can make love to me ten times in a row without stopping, I'll bring everybody back to life, including Milk Cow. He's like, okay, well, I guess I don't have much of a choice, do I? So he tries. Can't do it. She kills him. <laughs> so a little bit later, the middle child wakes up, goes out to the barn, sees the Milk Cow's dead, doesn't know what to do, so he walks down to the river, finds his mother and father and his oldest brother dead in the river. There's a female leprechaun standing there. She says to the boy, Yeah, what a bad day are you? He says, I, I guess so. She's like, I tell you what, if you can make love to me ten times in a row without stopping, I'll bring everybody back to life, including milk cow. And he's like, All right, well, I guess I'm not much of a choice, do I? I'm still pretty young, I can do it, yeah? All right. So here's a go. Can't do it, she kills him. So a little bit later, the youngest one wakes up. He wakes up way later, too, because he's like 15 years old. Anyway, so, so, so the youngest one wakes up, goes out to the bar and sees the milk cow's dead and walks down to the river and sees his whole family just dead in the river. There's a female leprechaun standing there. She says, you having a bad day earlier? He says, I, I suppose so. And she says, tell you what, you can make love to me ten times in a row without stopping. I'll bring everybody back to life, including the milk cow. And he's like, all right, I can do that. 
Now, what if I made love to you 15 times in a row? What would you do then? She says, oh lad, if you could do that, I'd bring everybody back to life, including the milk cow, and I'd give you a mansion in the place of your shack you've been living in. He's like, all right, what if I made love to you 20 times in a row? What would you do then? She says, oh, if you could do that, I'd bring everybody back to life, including the milk cow, give you a mansion and a pot of gold you'd be set for life. He says, all right then, well, one more question before we get started. What's to say I make love to you 20 times in a row and you don't die from it? The cow did. <laughs> yeah, no, totally not, sorry. So we're going to do a different song about a different kind of animal. Uh, it's a song by a band called The Mountain Goats. Uh, the song's called Lion's Teeth. And it's, uh, it's about a young boy who is witnessing his mother and his sister and himself being abused by a, uh, an abusive Marxist stepfather. Uh, and so this is uh, his, uh, his way of getting revenge and trying to reclaim his own agency. And hopefully he knows he can't kill the beast, but he can wound it and hopefully not be hurt so much next time. Thank you. 